Uterine involution key moment in the reproduction of dairy and meat cows. As puerperium is also known, the uterine involution in cows, a stage that is very crucial, in the reproductive stage that begins after the delivery of the cow and will be key in the reproductive life of the same. Please if you like this type of videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Uterine involution refers to the time that elapses between the re-establishment of the conditions of the genital tract to a pre-gravid state and part urition. The duration is approximately 26 to 52 days in dairy cows. In this event, some modifications occur, such as the re-establishment of the shape of the cervix, reduction of the uterine volume, endometrial and caruncular repair, bacterial flora, uterine infection, defense mechanism, resumption of cyclicity and cycle of elimination of lochia. In the period of the first three days of the puerperium, the expulsion of the fetal membranes, functional, structural changes in the regeneration of ligaments, sciatic sacrum and regression of the uterine artery to the original state, the uterus weighs approximately 9 to 10 kilos, these days the presence of lochia, with the presence of necrotic bloody material, after day 3, uterine involution begins in cows, and therefore the resumption of ovarian activity. Among the factors that most affect uterine involution is the presence of dystocia in cows, twin births, retained placenta, stress, metabolic diseases, poor management, high milk production, attendance at births lacking hygienic measures, age of the cow and infections. After calving a cow, retained placenta predisposes the cow to uterine infections, which causes reduced milk production and increases the possibility of developing endometritis and metritis. If the cow after calving has retained placenta, the incidence of puerperal metritis is from 27 to 50 percent, consequently the services per conception, and the number of open days are increased. It is proven that the retention of the placenta has a direct incidence in the reduction of the reproductive efficiency of the cows, therefore, the reproductive indicators are negatively affected. The processes that involve the different structures at the time of the puerperium in cows can be evaluated clinically through the following organs and findings. The cervix, location, size, and shape. Uterine bodies, reduction in volume, tone, contractility, consistency, longitudinal striae, and fluctuation. The ovaries, the size and non-cyclic and cyclic structures. The vulva, discharges, lesions, swelling, and shape. The evaluation of these organs should be secondary after evaluating and determining the body condition of the cow. The evolution is performed by rectal palpation. When fluctuation is found, or a dirty perineum with scabs is observed, it should be complemented with vaginoscopy. To correctly evaluate the ovaries of cows, it is necessary to use ultrasound in order to correctly define the size and structures present in cases of retention of fetal membranes the oldest and most common method is manual extraction, since for the cattle producer it represents two advantages, the first refers to the hygienic part, with respect to the facilities in milking room, and the second is that when it is extracted, the source of odor disappears, which is generally unpleasant.